that uh, RISC-V uh, brought to the computing arena is that uh, it is an open instruction set uh, definition. means that anybody that wants uh, to create a processor based on this instruction set can do it without uh, having to negotiate uh, very expensive royalties uh, with uh, companies that own uh, the instruction set. So it allows people, even without a huge capital, even without a huge negotiations, to uh, get into uh, the game of uh, creating new processors and creating new hardware and so on. So this is uh, the big advantage uh, created by uh, RISC-V. And, uh, and the second big advantage is that many companies, large companies, have uh, accepted to enter in the RISC-V Foundation and they are supporting it. So it means that no single company will now have the power to say I'm going to shut down this uh, open, open ISA by lawsuits, uh, by you know, buying it out and so on, because there are so many companies around it that uh, uh, they will defend it uh, with, and preventing any aggressive takeover of uh, this uh, open instruction set. So this is why uh, RISC-5 Foundation ISA is very important. Of course, it's not sufficient to go toward open hardware because you also need to be willing to uh, open not only the instruction set, but also the implementation, the microarchitecture of your processor. And that's what uh, I'm passionate about, the open hardware itself. Open ISA, like RISC-5, doesn't mean open hardware. Open hardware is uh, opening uh, also the hardware implementation of a processor that is based on an open source instruction set. PALP is an initiative that I personally uh, created to really uh, create momentum and interest around open hardware. And this is uh, the outcomes of PALP are this open source course that now everybody is using in industry, in academia, and so on. Now, uh, a big initiative connected to PALP is the Open Hardware Group. This is actually very similar to the RISC-5 Foundation. It's a foundation where several companies, a fairly large number of them, NXP and uh, you know, Huawei, many others, have uh, agreed that uh, we'll take over our open source cores, maintain them, develop them to industrial strength uh, and industrial standards, and still maintain them open. So this, is, uh, this will be open hardware with a strong industrial support, uh, which will guarantee, again, uh, similar to the open, uh, uh, um, the open ISA, if you have many companies support it, it will not disappear. Also, there are uh, very important uh, European projects that are publicly funded that are now looking uh, and supporting uh, this uh, idea of open hardware based on RISC-V. For example, EPI, the European Low Power Processor Initiative, uh, is uh, in fact, uh, for a good part, uh, supporting uh, RISC-V uh, uh, solutions. The acceleration engine for EPI is going to be built on RISC-V uh, architecture and RISC-V hardware. So, uh, really, the uh, RISC-5 uh, uh, openness idea, the RISC-5 open hardware and the implementation of it is really catching up in Europe, not only in industry, but also with the public support, which is, of course, very important in this space.